What is the most inoffensive thing you've seen someone get offended by? I still remember in kindergarten when my friend and I were reading all the colors out loud on one of those Crayola super packs. I got straight up yelled at and sent to the principal's office for saying orange pizzazz because the teacher said I called someone a piss ass and would not listen despite having the crayon as evidence. After a 30 minute scolding and waiting for my mom to leave work to pick me up for my suspension, she came in all apologetic. When I explained to her the whole situation, not the school's side, Ma went ape shit. I'd heard her say shit once, that's the only swear I ever heard from her, and we had just been rear-ended in traffic. How about cunt? Can he say cunt? Cuz you're all being cunts right now? This is ridiculous. And just went off while I'm sitting there all, surprised face, and the principal is just red AF. I got unsuspended on the spot, but she pulled me out of school for the day anyway. We had a lovely day and she explained very well how I shouldn't swear like that unless absolutely necessary and I've exhausted all civility. When being civil simply isn't working, sometimes you might have to call someone a piss ass. We were choosing a mascot for a summer camp where I worked. It was the first day of camp and WED always let the campers vote on a mascot that WED use for the rest of the summer as sort of a bonding thing. This year, the kids voted for Wolves as the mascot. It was almost unanimous. But one kid, probably about 9 or 10, threw a fit because wolves are bad guys and predators and killers and he doesn't want to be a wolf, he wants to be a hero. He refused to participate in any team activities because he didn't want to be on a team with the bad guys. At one point, we brought in a guy in a full mascot wolf costume for some anti-bullying program and the kid had a massive tantrum. I almost felt like we were going to learn at some point that his brother was killed by wolves or some other tragic origin story. I did feel bad for the boy because I was fairly certain he had some kind of unaddressed emotional difficulties or something, but we weren't going to change the mascot name that almost everyone voted for. The really sad thing is that wolf populations have suffered a lot due to stereotypes that they're bad. My seven-month-old was wearing a shirt that had a rocket ship and the NASA logo and some middle-aged woman in the shop said he shouldn't be wearing that because he's clearly not an astronaut I was dumbfounded. Using a walking stick. I was in a car accident a few years ago and it fucked my leg up. Since then I've been using a walking stick. I was walking to shop, pre-pandemic, and an old bloke gave me the dirtiest look I've ever seen. What do you need a cane for? You're only a kid. He actually got quite pissy just seeing me using a stick. Like, my dude, I'm just out trying to buy some milk, I don't need your today. Maybe 22 years ago, I had a phone interview with a baking company. I didn't care to have my peers know what I was up to so I took the call on my cell phone in my car. The call was crystal clear and no technical issues. At one point, they had mentioned the weather and asked how it was where I was. I told him that I was sitting in my car and I could see that it was actively snowing and whatnot. The interviewer asked me, are you taking this call on a cell phone? I told him I was. Then he asked me if I thought that was appropriate. I asked him what he meant by that. He said he thought it was kind of rude to take a formal call on a cell phone. I told him I would be more than happy to conclude the interview if talking on a cell phone was an issue. If he was interested, I'd be happy to continue it the next day when I'd be at a desk. He again repeated how rude he thought it was that I had called from a cell phone and that there was no need to continue the interview process. I disagreed with the first point but did agree with the second. To this day, I wonder what the hell he was talking about and where he was coming from. A surprising amount of people get very offended when you tell them they can't sit and stare at your vagina while you give birth. One time someone got offended when I put on my seat belt, thought I was commenting on her ability to drive. We used an app at work called Bonfire. One person refused to use it because bonfires are for witchcraft and pagans. I was at the vet with my cat and he sneezed. This was apparently very offensive to an elder woman, she was there with a corgi, and she started screaming at me for about 30 minutes about pet hygiene. 
I spent nine hours deep cleaning the house for an inspection. I went above and beyond, clearing my work schedule and going the extra mile, and my roommate double-checked my work. He had a complete psychotic meltdown because I forgot to sweep underneath the couch. I moved out the next day and never spoke to him again. I once listened to my boss try to lecture the fire marshal because he was talking about something being flame retardant, her reasoning was you should just call it fireproof because retardant was an awful word. It was one of those times where I really should have tried to stop her but instead I just stood off to the side probably making a surprised PK Chuk face. Someone posted a video about 9-11 and someone commented please take this down. You're not from New York. You will never understand this pain. She said this as if only people from New York were in the World Trade Center. This is within a year after the DADT repeal. Part of the repeal was that, obviously, you can't make fun of people for their sexual preference, so calling people gay was out. Was getting directions to a co-worker's house. He lived on Gay Street. Our supervisor got belligerent about how we can't say that, even after explaining how it was the street name. I got in trouble in kindergarten for saying the word dead. Apparently it was too violent. I had a co-worker who got mad at me because I asked her not to tickle me. A. That's inappropriate at work. B. We're not children. We're not in a relationship. We're not family. C. I don't like being tickled. She flipped out and said everyone likes being tickled and I was being mean to her. Happily my boss had my back. Edit. This happened over a decade ago. I don't work with that woman or for that company. In fact, even the company doesn't exist anymore. I am also a woman. The co-worker was very young and immature. This was her first job, her first time in a professional environment, and she really had no clue about professional workplace behavior. I wasn't upset because she truly thought she was being friendly. But I still don't like being tickled. At school someone didn't have a calculator and asked if anyone had one they could borrow. Someone offered them a pink calculator and they refused saying that they were offended they'd try and give them something girly. When I was a child, my mum paid for something with a check. The cashier remarked that my mum had nice handwriting my mum flew off the handle, and we had to storm out of the shop in outrage. To this day, I have no idea what happened. I am a disabled person. My life sucks because of my disability and no longer being able to do the things I used to love makes me quite depressed sometimes. Some tried to lecture me about how I was ableist for wishing there was a cure for my disability. Me for not enjoying being in constant pain and possibly ending up in a wheelchair in the future I guess. I worked at a restaurant and we put up some Halloween decorations. We had to take them all down when someone found the glittery skull decoration offensive. My mom got mad because and I quote she never asks me for money referring to me. I'm sorry, would you rather I constantly bug you for cash so I can buy candy and shit? The Pixar short lava. He walked out saying it was deeply offensive and didn't explain why. I called someone fam and she blew up at me, saying that I clearly meant the N word. Back when I was in grade school, a teacher of mine was discussing something, I don't exactly remember the context, and he said God or a God in order to be neutral to those with various religious beliefs, and probably to cover his since he was commenting about religion while in school, and a girl in my class got so upset slash offended about it she started bawling about how he is being disrespectful to her beliefs. Had someone get offended by me calling my brother bro. They insisted that I was racist and that white people can't be related to Mexicans. Like seriously lady. That's not how genetics work. We are 100% related and are a mix of white and Native American. It's not that unheard of for one biological sibling to come out lighter or darker than the other. And even if we weren't related. Seriously. I'm racist for calling someone close to me my bro despite being different skin tones. Seriously. Thank you for coming to my rant session. Have a good day. The Canadian flag. Told me that if they put up a Canadian flag, in PA, the neighbors would come and shoot everybody.
not quite sure about the logic on that one. This guy at a Halloween party I was at was dressed in a giant bacon costume. Some girl was yelling at him for being so offensive toward Jews and Muslims, she was neither Jewish nor Muslim. Typing in someone's phone number to activate their rewards card. Finished typing it in, found her name, proceeded with the transaction and said, you're good to go. The woman replied with, what is that supposed to mean? And she gave me a fiery glare as if I just kicked her toddler across the store. It means. I found your information. You'll get your points. The woman. Oh. Okay then. I still can't figure out why she flipped out like that. It was a rewards card, she got her points and she got her discount. I just. What? A picture of an eye. We have an organization-wide theme every year and all the PCs on our network have the same background and theme which can't be changed. So this year's theme is Vision is 2020 and the background was a zoomed-in picture of an eye in really awesome colors. Two women on staff wrote letters to complain that the picture was heathen as it drew from Illuminati imagery and paid tribute to the all-seeing eye of Egyptian deities. They whined and complained to such an extent that the picture was eventually changed to shut them up and let the normal folks get back to our actual work. While working tech support back during the dot-com boom I had a customer get upset with me over the use of the word icon. Someone once got offended because I used the word black in conversation. I was talking about an article of clothing slash the color black. They tried to make into something about race, and that I shouldn't use the term black anymore, and should say African American, I said that makes no sense I'm literally talking about the color black, am I supposed to say I'm wearing an African American colored shirt? I told my my sister in a PM that it's first not one RST after she posted something on Facebook with the spelling error. She flipped out saying how I'm a bully and I need to appreciate that her spelling is more unique. My Mexican friend, born in a small town in Mexico, wore a sombrero and poncho for Halloween. A white girl told him that's offensive to Mexicans. I sang the song Hit the Road Jack to a kid I just beat in a game while in the third grade mockingly. He took that as me calling him a jackass. He told the recess monitor this. I was told to stand against a wall away from the rest of the kids with the recess monitor. I am now 27 now, married with two kids but I will never forget this. If you ever see this I didn't call you a jackass Jared, but now, you forever edit thank you all and I'm sorry to hear a lot of you had Jared's too. Got chewed out once for saying, yes ma'am, to a lady. A sandwich. I kid you not. My ex-husband was given a sandwich by our then 13-year-old daughter and because she cut the sandwich he went off on a massive strop about how his sandwiches should never be cut etc. The poor kid's face, she was crushed. It still winds me up no end every time I think about it. When I worked in customer service, yes ma'am. Don't you ma'am me. Don't you ma'am me you piece of shit. There was a post on Reddit a while back. Maybe AITA. A guy was dating a girl who lost her because he said flame retardant and apparently retardant was a terribly offensive word. I think about that post a lot. People get very offended that I don't like being touched. Ex of mine once flew into a shrieking rage because while he was driving, someone swerved or did something surprising, and I gasped out loud. Apparently that meant I didn't trust him and our entire relationship was in question. The amount of rage for the level of infraction was upsetting. EDA for those suggesting I was overreacting and the annoying one, he was a terrible, aggressive driver. And we lived in Boston. Edit 2, I'm reminded of the time he reversed the car out of a spot by turning the wheel sharping and gunning the engine, smashing the entire side of the car into the concrete pillar next to the parking spot. That was my fault too for not warning him he was going to hit the pillar. I gasped that time too, despite being warned that gasping was a sign of distrust in the relationship. Slow creep. Slow creep of shitty behavior until the frogs boiled to death not realizing how hot it was. Fortunately, I woke up before I boiled to death. I managed a small, 
new team that had no procedures or policies, so I set about instituting some. I mean, you never know, I could get hit by a bus tomorrow and then no one would know how to process these requests, I told them, when asking for their feedback and for them to write up how they did their tasks. Then we would come back together and decide best practices in a meeting. Little man filed a complaint to the manager for my use of violent imagery and said that he felt threatened. It was a whole thing. Ultimately, he got fired. Him, Vai. Edit, well, this blew up, lol. For clarity, he didn't get fired for this one incident. He was a horrible employee with real issues having a woman in charge. It's specific to France. In French we have a way to address for a man, monsieur, a married woman, madame, an unmarried woman, mademoiselle, and we used to have one for an unmarried man, mondemisia, which disappeared from official paperwork since I don't even know when. In the name of gender equality, mademoiselle was also removed a few years ago from official paperwork. Also in the name of gender equality some employee were told to not call young women mademoiselle anymore and to go with madam. So the trick is, some women will get offended when called madam because it makes them feel old and some women will get offended when called mademoiselle because it's sexist. Clerks are doomed. IIRC a BNB run by Norwegians had to take down their Norwegian flag because morons kept shouting abuse at them after mistaking it for the Confederate flag. Alternatively, Morons getting pissed off at people writing X Moss because it takes the Christ out of Christmas even though X, Greek letter Chi, is a symbol dating back 2000 years that means Christ. I commented on a Reddit thread once and said that the weird serial killer slash mass murderer fangirls who send nasty messages to the parents of school shooting victims were assholes which is a pretty non-controversial statement. Or so I thought. Some rando appeared in my comments bitching about how everyone was entitled to their freedom of speech lmfao. The kid that got the cops called on him and suspended from school for having a Nerf gun in his room during a Zoom class. At my wedding we marked the vegetarian items as vegetarian. This made the one vegetarian at my wedding, sister-in-law who hates me, fly into a catatonic rage because we are singling out the vegetarian food as vegetarian and not treating it as normal food. Then how the are they supposed to know it's vegetarian? My parents are abusive and have called my sisters and I every name in the book, pretty sure cunt was said to me more than my name. In a fight, my sister called my dad a fool when he was throwing a hissy fit. He flipped his and couldn't fathom being called something more offensive. He called me and told me what she said, and I laughed at him. Now my sister and I laugh all the time about how crazy our parents are. I'm a white South African. Born here, my nationality is South African. Some American girl got offended that I called myself South African as a white dude, and said that only people of color can call themselves that. Bruh. It's a nationality. Thank you for watching, be sure to like and subscribe for more content every day.